Serious, Redditors who have killed someone, by mistake or on purpose, what happened, and how has it affected your life? My uncle was bushojing, cutting grass with a big gas tractor mower, when he let his friend's 10 year old son ride. The boy slipped off and fell under the mower slicing him to pieces. He was very messed up for a while. He couldn't sleep or eat and lost about 30 pounds. He would just sit in a dark room for hours till my aunt came home from work. TLDR my dad ran over his pregnant fiance with a snowmobile. My dad had just gotten engaged at 21 years old. He was riding a snowmobile going 70 miles per hour and his fiance ran out from behind a tree. Killed her instantly. She was pregnant. Only thing I know is that soon after that. He took a one way ticket to Denver with only $200 of spending money. He was homeless for a while. He's never said for how long. He's owned a successful small business for 30 years now. So I guess a person is capable of coming back from pretty much anything. I was sad without being distraught. I thought about what went wrong and moved on. I know it will happen again. I don't look forward to it. But I don't lose sleep over it either. Things go wrong in medicine. People die through the things we do even if they are done perfectly. It's not the enjoyable part when somebody dies. And a little grieving is acceptable. But if you let every person that dies on your watch affect you too much. Eventually you won't ever be able to return to normal. And from there it's a slippery slope until you can't take it anymore. Edit. Yes people. This is a similar sentiment to a Scrubs quote episode. I haven't seen the episode for a while. But I do remember it resonating with me at the time as I felt it accurately portrayed the situation medical professionals face, not just doctors. I apologize if my post was too similar to the quote for some of you. I assure you if that's the case. It's just because I took it to heart years ago. Me and my buddies were on a road trip all the way from Canada down to Florida. We had been driving for almost 24 hours, taking turns. And I was currently the driver. It was around 1.30 am. Everyone but me is asleep. We were on the highway when all of a sudden I see the car in front of me slam on the brakes. I change lanes to avoid them and bam right in front of me I see what I initially think is some debris. I still remember this moment clearly. The person raising their hands in defense and the thunk as I went over them. Literally this moment haunted me for months. Whenever I get on the highway I can't stop thinking about it. Father story. Girl ran in front of his car on the freeway. She was walking along with friends and ran out in front of his car for no reason. The friends were even baffled. And had no answer as to why she did it. He's a reasonable dude. He was only damaged for a few days. He realized it was not his fault. There was nothing he could do to prevent it. And he moved on. He's jolly as can be. No problems driving. Like the story below. I have killed in combat. I turned off most of what makes you human. And did the work that needed doing. I am not proud of it. It is just what needed doing at the time. It wasn't until years later when my children asked me if I ever killed someone that I even began to explore what I had done. I know I would have died. But that doesn't make it easier. Clint Eastwood said it best in Unforgiven. Funny thing about killing a man. You take everything he has and everything he is ever gonna have. That's hard knowledge but it's true. I have killed. And it makes me sad that I have. I feel stained. Like there is a smear on my soul that will never come off. But. I also know that when it came time to do what needed to be done. I did not flinch. I kept the faith and took the life of the man who would have taken mine. It's all I can ask of myself. And all I can ask of my brothers in arms. This might not count to some people but it does to me. When I was 16. I ran over the family dog causing his death. I didn't see him at all. So I had no time to break as he ran out right in front. I felt a bump. I had a very strong feeling it was an animal. I didn't want to look back to see what I had done. In the rear view mirror I saw Ree slowly dying in a small puddle of blood. My parents bought him as a puppy when my siblings and I were infants. 
It is one of my worst memories I wish I could erase. What's worse is sharing this story with other people. They laugh. Why do they laugh? Not sure if this counts or not but meh. Feels good to get it out. A close friend of mine committed suicide a few years back. I hold myself and our group of friends directly responsible. There was nothing we could have done at the time. But it was our fault he ended up where he did. We were not there for him when he needed us. As far as I'm concerned we killed him. Since then I've been more careful of my actions and what I say. Especially around those who might be easily influenced. Actions have consequences. Don't forget that. Attention. Please keep in mind that the OP of this thread has chosen to mark this post with the serious replies only tag. Therefore any replies that are jokes, puns, off topic, or are otherwise non-contributory will be removed. If you see others posting comments that violate this tag, please report them to the mods. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot. Our auto moderator comments Q11 per what is auto moderator. And this action was performed automatically. Please, contact the moderators of this subreddit, message compose? 2 equals percent 2 fr percent 2 f ask reddit, if you have any questions or concerns. This serious tag has the power to make reddit interesting again. I hope the moderators follow through. Throw away obv. Without going into to too much detail. I was 19, over a decade ago. My friend got very badly beaten up and raped. Me and two friends found the guy and killed him. It still haunts me. I was young and in gang. There were supposed rules to uphold. It was mostly posturing bullshit. But it led to this. I haven't spoken to the other two in about 5 years. Our lives went very different directions but it still lurks in my mind. Delete this. On the off chance you are telling the truth there is no statute of limitations on murder. I killed my mother. Not on purpose but it was my fault. I'm not really going to go into detail but basically when I was born my mother had a lot of complications, no existing problems at all, and by the end of it had to be on medication and was in and out of hospital for about 10 years until she passed away. I grew up watching her die without knowing it was my fault. As I got older I put the pieces together and now I have the full picture. When I realized I did feel distraught and I was fked up for a while. It comes in stages. First it's the realization of what you've done. Then it's the grief. It weighs you down and haunts you while making your life spiral down into a deep abyss of darkness. I think because it wasn't a sudden realization and more of a thing I learned while growing up it didn't affect me as much than if it was. You weren't responsible. You just happen to be there. Every woman takes the chance of dying when she gives birth. It's just a fact. And it was her choice. 6 years. User. Not a sniper so we didn't count confirm kills. But when I have to estimate. It's say around 200 or so. Mandatory counseling sessions. Never lost an ounce of sleep. I was doing what I was trained to do and what I signed up to do. If it ever comes up. I just remember the smell of some of the makeshift torture rooms we would clear and the burnt remains of a mother holding her children. We were killing these assholes terrorizing villages. I have a family of my own so it was pretty easy for me to justify in my mind what we were doing so I was always at peace with myself. I've never killed anyone. But I've seen plenty of people die. As a medic in the army you get lots of opportunities. It wasn't my fault but one or two patients died due to medical errors. Without going into too many details. Yes and I was deployed while in the military. I was really fked up over it for a long time. I still have nightmares. Taking human life is not an easy thing to deal with for most people. Even if it was him or me. Was in several use of lethal force encounters. First one when I was much younger. There were two other guys involved, the attackers. Another one few years ago three attackers. Failed robbery. I had my Springfield XD. IT felt surreal. The FKs got what they deserved. If you decide you are willing to hurt or kill someone for a few $20 s you deserve to end up ventilated in the gas station. 
I was more worried about the police not confusing me for the aggressor and legal ramifications. Everything turned out okay. Multiple cameras at the gas station etc. It's good to live in a state with stand your ground laws. Sorry for the ramble.